I spend a lot of time with my eyes locked onto one thing for very long sessions. I'm always either studying, working, reading, or gaming. This routine started when I was in seventh grade, and I kept doing this for months, until one day I realized that I started to see things in the distance a little blurry. That, combined with the genetic factor that my mom used to have bad eyesight, eventually led me into needing glasses. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about my good and bad experiences with glasses. I'm just kidding, they're all bad. When I went to get my prescription glasses, the first thing I had to do was pick a frame. Okay, before I tell you this part, there's something you need to know about me. I... have a problem. I don't know when or how this started, but I have a severe case of indecisiveness. In the first year I spent in Turkey, I was feeling very homesick. So my aunt took me to one of the biggest malls in the country. We had a really fun time and it actually managed to cheer me up a bit. But then it was time to leave and my aunt suggested we get some ice cream for the road. Now just so don't get confused, we were in the middle of the big city and my home is in a very small town in the middle of nowhere. All the ice cream was sold from little windows at pastry shops and the only available options were vanilla, chocolate, lemon, and strawberry. But this place had like 30 different flavors with fancy names and weird color combinations I've never seen before. I stood there for 20 minutes, trying to pick which flavor I wanted. That plus the waiting time means it took us half an hour to get ice cream. I never saw my aunt again. I'm not joking. This happened nine years ago and I legit haven't seen her since. Now picture this scenario, but instead of 30 ice cream flavors, it's 800 pairs of glasses. Uh oh. I'm gonna save you guys the pain of listening to me talk about each individual frame they showed me and skip to the part where the employees looked like they were about to just give me a whole box and ban me from ever coming back. The funniest part is that after what was probably an hour, this is the frame I picked and held onto for the past five years of my life. It was the second one they showed me. Can I try on your glasses? People who have glasses have probably heard this phrase a lot. I didn't mind letting some of my friends try them on, but there were some people that I instinctively knew shouldn't be allowed anywhere near my glasses. Out of those people, there was one girl in particular. We'll call her... Claudia. Claudia wasn't particularly a bad person, she just had no self-control over anything. She didn't know the meaning of personal boundaries. If she saw something that she wants to take a closer look at, she would just take it without asking, and she'd be very careless about it too. Also, she had a cheese puff addiction. So when she saw my new glasses, I instantly knew that they just became one of her targets. And as I expected, while I'd be busy copying something off the board, she'd just yoink them off my face. Girl, how can you see with these? Um, can you not? How many fingers am I holding up? Do I look good with glasses? Who's this? My head hurts. Here you go. I hate you with a passion. When you shower, you have two options. Either this view or this view. Speaking of water, here's one that people don't talk about very often. Swimming. I used to take swimming lessons in the summer. You know, when there wasn't a global pandemic and I had no excuse to not indulge in physical activities. Don't get me wrong, I like going to the pool, I just don't like being told what to do for two hours. Before the lesson started, the routine everyone had to follow was shower, put your swimming cap on, leave your belongings on your bench, and join the warm-up circle. This means that I had to leave my glasses on the bench and practically be blind for the entire lesson. The problem was, obviously, I couldn't see anything! What's he doing? Oh, okay, that's his arm, and that's the legs. Ooh, got it! Sorry! <clears throat> Oops. 
Oops. Wrong car! Huh. Water and glasses don't mix together. Do you like watching videos on your laptop from the comforts of your bed? Or maybe you've had an exhausting day and just want to lie down on the couch to watch some TV. Well, guess what? When you have glasses, you can't. Before I start my kind on productive productive day, I like to do this thing where I stay in bed watching dumb YouTube videos for at least 15 minutes before I can actually get up. Same thing goes for when I'm about to sleep. But whenever I want to switch into that comfy sideway position, my glasses shift and there's nothing I can do about it except being uncomfortable until I feel like lying back again. Hot food and drinks make your glasses fog up. This gets worse depending on how cold the environment is. If you drink coffee on a summer morning, your glasses will be perfectly fine. But if you try enjoying some hot cocoa in winter, then good luck because you are now officially blinder than you were to begin with. Understand. So this video took a while to get out. Honestly, it was the most painful experience I've had while making a video. My laptop is five years old now and I've honestly pushed its limits a bit too far. Two months after working on this video, my laptop gave me the blue screen of bye bye and all my work got deleted. I got super demotivated from that, but then I started all over again and I think I even made it slightly better. But this time my apps would keep crashing and sometimes I'd lose hours of work again just because it wouldn't autosave. I took it to a repair guy and he said that I should either upgrade its memory or buy a new laptop, which given the condition it's in, I decided to start saving up for a new laptop. I really love making these videos and I want to make so many more, but unfortunately they're going to keep taking a while to make until I get the new laptop because this one is currently on life support. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or night, and take care of your eyes.